Hello, and welcome to Super Mario's Draft League, season three, week seven. No, game. Week nine, game seven. Um, this game is between Ben Mater, coach of the New York Garboders, and Peter, coach of the Philadelphia Flygons. Mega Pokemon in this game. Mega Alakazam, Mega Gallade. Um, Benji, Mega Gallade, Peter. Mega Alakazam, Benji, Z Pokemon. R. Z any for Alligator. Z Attack, Typhlosion. For Alligator, again, showing up and Typhlosion, not. For Beater. Z Pokemon are Z any seismic toad and Z attacks are rude. Just so rude. Seismic toad has been to so many games, I guess I've just like actually become desensitized to it. <laughs> but uh let's see. First impressions. Kirum, really good. As per usual, Earth Power plus Ice Beam to hit KOs the entire team. Unless Silvali is like Silvali Ice Special Defense. Uh, but it still probably gets like deleted by Draco. But I mean, forcing Kirim to click Draco when you have a setup sweeper, potentially Megalakazam, is pretty good, I'd say. Like a good trade for Peter to make. And. So yeah, Mega Alakazam is obviously just terrifying. Darn Galar is also really problematic, mostly because it shuts down most sweepers that Beaner might have. Um, it would also be really interesting to see if Beater or Benji could maybe force the trace into Gorilla Tactics because that would not boost Psychic and it would force Beater to click a Psychic move or something. Chansey, obviously eating that right up. Uh, Chansey also looks a little problematic, though letting Zerud in for free might cause some problems. Uh, mainly because it can U-turn on Skila, free Heatran, free Heatran is just not something that you ever want to face. Um, other than that, I don't have a whole lot to say on this like lineup. Well, I guess I did already say a lot, but we'll see. I mean, both teams, Obviously, every Pokemon comes with a purpose. So, Lead Zerud versus Lead Gator. Obviously, going to see a switch. Very, uh, very, like, yeah, turn one. I could see that pretty easily. Uh, Steel is pretty much full, and in comes Kyrum. There's no Volt Switch blocking here, so... That's a little problematic, I would say, for uh, Benji. Balloon Heatran, very, very free to just Magma Storm here. Stealth Rocks, very good, just nice call. There's the Taunt on probably a Wish, maybe it's Seismic Toss. Yep, out goes the Balloon, very good for Kirim later. But Rocks on the left use Kirim, not great. Seismic Toss is going to be a 3-hit KO on Alakazam. In comes Celesteela. I'm going to guess that he's just kind of expecting Psyshock. Knock off. Moves that leftovers. Ooh, knock off Mega Alakazam. That's a good bring, I would say. Heavy Slam's going to do quite a lot. Uh, there's the Protect, even though there's no real... Um... There's a switch, there's Stealth Rocks. Volt Switch is still gonna do like 19. Yeah. Kirim is dying very fast. There's just so much pressure here. I mean, Alakazam hasn't revealed that it has Psy Shock. There it is, though. It's gonna kill Kirim. If Chansey has max defense, then there shouldn't be any issue. Here's a very free U turn for Benji. Uh, earthquake, good call though. But 
Rotom is definitely coming in. Or Tornadus. Both both uh, work. Income Celesteel on Nasty Plot Heat Wave could suck. It's bulk. Interesting. Heavy Slam, still gonna break the sub. Bulk up again. Huh. Is this leftovers? No. What? And there's a switch. Alright. Heavy Slam only gonna do 27%. Pain split could happen here. That would be really bad for Chansey because Rotom is low. So I do think that Rotom might just be Choice Scarf. Maybe even Choice Specs, but I think Choice Scarf, Choice Specs would do like 30 to cure him. And Super Power is only gonna do 17 to Celesteela. But the lack of recovery, really not great. There's the Heavy Slam, only 36% to Zarud. U-turn, 3%. Celesteela is slowly losing health. There's another Heavy Slam, 28% this time. I'm probably gonna see a Bolt Switch. Celesteela is finally gonna go down. It just looks like there's so much pressure that Benji can't keep up with. Rotom Fan is going absolutely ballistic. U-turn, 27%. Psychic, Silvali, interesting. Ice Punch only gonna do 19. And Florida Gator comes in on the multi-attack. It takes 43. It's going to live another multi-attack. In comes Rotom Fan. I don't know if this is faster. I think it is. I think this is base 80. Yep, Aqua Jet though. Huge. The only thing is, is the root scarf. Yeah. Scarf. Power Whip gonna knock all knock out for alligator. In comes Gallade on the potential power up. Yeah, that's gonna kill. Pretty clean. Zarud is doing Zarud things right now. In comes Darm. And Silvali Psychic comes to meet. Ice Fang only does 33%. Another 33%. There's the U turn. It's gonna crit. Probably just gonna see Zarud come in and spam Darkest Lariat until game over. Or close combat. That works as well. Down goes Chansey. And that's game for O Beater. Um, it's really late, to be honest. I, I just. I'm just gonna end it here. That was a good game. I'll see you in the next one.